A hack day is actually a misnomer. It's not ever a day. It's usually two days, and you get a number of uh, de developers in a room with a challenge, um, normally a very broad challenge, and some data um, or an API. And the developers will work, they will code, they will build applications or websites or widgets over the course of a 48-hour period. And then at the end of that, they will present what they have made. So they'll be working prototypes and they'll present those to an audience of their peers and be judged and winners are chosen and, um, and that's what a hack day is. In the future, I see TV not just being on screen, it will be more of an experience. It will be second screens, it will be catching up with content later and seeing what people think about it. Hack days are an unusual way of working. You can never really expect or anticipate what's going to happen before it runs, but you always know it's going to be cool and you always know that something good's going to come out of it. We're very excited about the MIPQ Pack Day. One, because social TV is the thing that is most obvious for developers and industry experts, directors, people who work in the film industry and TV, to actually work together to look at how the second screen interaction between TV and the consumer of television through social media or through the second screen that they have in their hand. And over those 48 hours, we are hoping that the next big thing in social television is going to be built and prototyped and showcased at the end of MIPCube. Some of the biggest names in, in the industry both the television and the technology industry will be at MIPCube and that grouping of people will be such a great breeding ground for ideas and not only a breeding ground for ideas but a testing ground for ideas. Information is kind of, it's the most important thing to a developer. So one of the things that TV really has to work on is um, getting information into their broadcasts. So be that information about the broadcast, information within the broadcast about what's happening during a certain point. Because with that kind of information, you can build fantastic things. You can um, get real-time information on what people are interested in at a certain point in a broadcast. In the future, I see TV not just being on screen. It will be more of an experience. It will be second screens. It will be catching up with content later and seeing what people think about it.